this story could have worked well with them just doing their jobs without being lovey-dovey or falling for each other or being interested in each other. There's no need. Some stories don't have to have love stuff. It's about space. It's about mutual respect. It's about um, understanding that other person's work. So why are we bringing romance to it? I, I, I'm like, eh, there's no need. Miss. You're on fire. It's very original. No, I do not want to stop, drop, and roll with you. No, your book is on fire. Hello, hi to you. I hope you're good wherever you are in the world. Welcome to episode number eight of What Are You Watching Lately? Today, we are focusing on a movie titled Fly Me to the Moon. Lift off. We have lift off. <laughs> Fly Me to the Moon is a sharp, stylish comedy drama that's set against the high-stake backdrop of NASA's historical moon landing. It's a movie! Public support for the moon mission is rock bottom. This story is a hero's journey of Kelly Jones, who is a marketing wonder kind who is ready to do whatever it takes to make sure that her marketing strategies are appealing to her clients. I'm just lucky that my water didn't break in there. Hi, Ron. She's brought into NASA to fix their public relations as the public and the government have lost interest in space exploration. She quickly learns that she's not welcomed at NASA by the executives and everyone working there. This means that she has to make sure that she wins them over or make sure that they respect her as an expert in her film. Excuse me? What are you doing here? I tracked you down because I felt we had a connection. What? I'm joking. I work here now to sell the moon. She will make allies and enemies in the space program and also meet a few tricksters and shapeshifters. You know, those ones that act like they like you, but they don't like you. And other ones that they act like they are helping you, but they are working against you. Who is that? For me, this is a very personal. He's got my name. You told me that your guys don't do interviews, so I had to hire new guys. She manages to win over the NASA team as she wins the public's opinion and the presidency's opinion about the space program. This means that now that she has won the public's opinion and the world is watching, Washington can't afford for the mission to fail. So they come up with a plan to film a backup of the moon landing. What? This is borderlining on the conspiracies online that say the moon landing was fake. But in the end, they show you that, um... We need to shoot a backup version of the moon landing. You mean to fake it? The launch director, Cole, and Kelly clash a lot at the beginning, but they quickly learn that they have to work together for the space mission to succeed. Going around the corner, we'll see you on the other side of two. And action. In my opinion, this movie was executed well when it comes to the realism and the wonder of whether it happened or what if it didn't. And that brings us to what I like and dislike about the movie. One, exposition. I like how they showed us Kelly's character uh, as a marketing genius, her winning over people by either lying to them or deceiving them a bit with uh, pregnancy pillows and all these other things. I feel like that was amazing. It shows how much she's willing to go and how much work she puts into her work and her understanding of marketing before Nessa comes and snaps her because they can't just say you are what the person that we want if we don't know how much work she can do. Nessa's not something that you sell with a jingle and a slogan. When I'm done, those men are gonna be bigger than the Beatles. Two, the balance between the drama and the comedy. Because this movie is a comedy drama, it was likely for them to make a mistake of making the movie too funny and then not relatable. It's, it would be funny, it's fine, it's funny enough, and the story is still put to you, like, as a serious matter, that they have to go to space. And this is how much it means to Cole, this is how much it means to Kelly, this is how much it means to the public, this is how much it means to the government. If you fake this mission, everything that we have sacrificed will have been for nothing. Bye. Another thing that I love is that although this movie was about a historical moment that happened back in time, I'm glad that we are over that thing of making sure that the look also looked old school. Like I'm over that old school look where the video is either black and white or too 
desaturated. Although it was desaturated a bit, but it still looked like it's modern. You can relate and I, I could watch that. I love, 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 love good quality old school movies now. No one can ever know what we're doing. There are two things that I dislike about the movie. First thing, I feel like social media has ruined um, movies or movie writing because you worry about being relevant or making sure that you don't step on anyone's toes. So they are including too many elements into the story. Some elements are not uh, part of the plot or they are part of the plot, but they are never realized at the end of the movie. And some plots are just there to be relevant, like to the now thing. And remember, this was old school. Some things were not happening then. I don't know. I wouldn't know. Maybe it was hidden then, you know. So I feel like some elements of that make it... Uh, get away from the realism of then and now oh boy i know a lot more about the moon than i know about you the second thing is the love story the love element of it i feel like there was no need hey um this story could have worked well with them just doing their jobs without being lovey-dovey or falling for each other or being interested in each other there's no need some stories don't have to have love stuff <gasps> fun facts this was scarlett johnson's first producing project under her company these pictures nasa needs a marketing specialist and you are the very best woody harrelson is my favorite actor i love him in every movie since now you see me i feel like he always does amazing work and in this one He's an agent of the government. He's the one that recruits uh, Scarlett Johnson's character, Kelly, to join NASA. Why would sell cars when you could think bigger? The film publication board gave it an age restriction of 13 with strong language, meaning that anyone that's older than 13 can go watch this movie. No parental guidance, nothing. So that is cool. The running time of the movie is 129 minutes, which is two hours nine minutes that's a long movie you must be the launch director you're the killer from manhattan this movie will be in cinemas first and only stream on apple tv plus later on which i don't know when later on is because you know movies in cinema depend on their performance then that's when they're gonna move to streaming platforms then TV. I want you to walk as if you're carrying your mother. She's frail, but also heavy. If you made it this far, just know that we are at the end of it. I hope you got everything you needed to know about the movie. If I gave you some spoilers, I'm sorry because I was in love with the film. Please remember to tell me what are you watching lately. Thank you. Yes, sir. Three.